of scary and mysterious creatures caught on camera. Today we're going to break these down and let you know which one's real and which ones are fake. Number 10. First up is quite frankly one of the creepiest videos on this list and a damn good reason I don't go into the water. The footage was caught back in 2007 off the oil rig the Shell Perdido at a depth of almost 8,000 feet. What we see is a creature that looks like it's the product of the alien, the predator, and a spider having a threesome. When this footage hit the internet, they all shit a collective brick. This strange creature, with its long legs dangling towards the ocean floor as if it's waiting to snatch your babies up, created all kinds of speculation. One being that this was a fictional Cthulhu character mentioned in a series of books by writer H.P. Lovecraft. I'm sad to say this creature is all too real and will forever haunt my dream. It is in fact a very rare squid known as a big fin squid. Number 9. Our next video is titled The Iceland Worm Monster. In 2012, a 67 year old farmer shot this video and then spent probably a week trying to figure out how to upload it to YouTube. What is being claimed is that he caught footage of the famous Lagerflux worm, a creature that has been sighted in this body of water since 1345. At first glance it does look like a strange crocodile or snake type creature that is swimming along in the water. But if you notice, it actually isn't moving anywhere, as if it's some type of debris caught up on some underwater brush. It's movement created by the water passing around it. While this may not be faked or staged, as this article is claimed to have stated, I do believe it's just a misinterpretation of the footage. Number 8. In 2015, a newspaper delivery man from Sarasota, Florida claimed to have caught some kind of strange encounter on his cell phone. In an article posted on CryptoZoologyNews.com, it said that the driver frequently tapes moments from his delivery route. The man starts off the video by showing the time, as well as a shot of his GPS, then mentions that he's going to go back to a location where he saw a strange reflective tree. Now I'm going to try to come back around and see about this strange tree. They look reflective. He then stops and focuses on a purple light and some kind of fleshy looking blob. A couple of interesting things about this story. First of all, notice that about a minute 37 into the video, there's an electronic beeping sound that the camera picks up inside the car as the light color changes. Why? Why would there be a beeping inside his car with a light that looks to be at least 30 to 50 yards away changes color? Also in the video, he states, it looks like there's a bald person standing on a porch of some kind with a light. It looks like there's a bald person standing in on a porch of some kind with a light. But in the article he changes his story saying, This night I heard a dull whirring noise and some other metal clanging noise. I saw strange lights illuminating a tree in the cemetery on my way in. I thought I saw an object moving and hovering around the cemetery, below the tree line and among the oak trees near the intersection. But in the video he makes no mention of the whirring or clanging metal noises. He also fails to mention the object hovering below the tree line. But as I noted earlier, he does state that he's going back to check out a strange tree that looked reflective. Then in the report he made to MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network, the bald man standing on a porch next to a light magically transformed into, guess what, an extraterrestrial, stating that he was a being who seemed to be inside of a windowed room aboard a nearly silent object hovering just feet from the ground. What in the hell happened to the dull whirring and metal clanging? It's now a nearly silent object. Once again, he mentions none of this in the video. So fuck you, world's oldest newspaper delivery boy. There's a reason that you're still delivering newspapers at your age. So my call on this is it's not fake, but his story is bullshit. He changed his story after the recording, and you have to wonder what his motives were for doing so. Number 7. We have another video of an alien sighting in a cemetery. I guess they're taking a break from anal probing to go and visit loved ones. This video was uploaded in 2011, but was claimed to have been shot in 2005. As the camera pans a property, unless you're looking, you most likely will fail to notice the strange looking creature peeking out from behind a tombstone. Is it just me or does this look like it's Admiral Akbar from Star Wars? Some in the comments section wonder why anyone would be filming in a cemetery. Strangely enough, on our trip to Florida, Angela and I were in a very old cemetery nearby our dad's house. And while we didn't record video, we did take pictures. Is it a hoax or not? I'm always assuming a hoax, as I've quoted Carl Sagan often in my videos, extraordinary claims requires extraordinary evidence. If I tell you that I have a dog, that's not extraordinary, and you'd probably just accept that it's true. But if I told you the dog could sing and dance like Justin Bieber, that shit would require some hardcore evidence. And here we have a video that's purportedly been sitting around your house for six years, and suddenly gets uploaded to YouTube because you discovered an alien in it. That shit's gonna require some Justin Bieber, dog dancing, and singing type evidence. Number six. For next video, we go down to Argentina, where this cute little guy is sitting on the kitchen floor, while his mama records him, and then, all of a sudden, something scurries 
scurries across the floor behind him, disappearing beneath the kitchen cupboard. In the description of the video, they claim that the small elemental creature left a nauseating smell behind and created a strong interference in the electronic devices. This bit of CGI is clearly a fake. First of all, there's no reflection of the goblin in the cupboard here, and the angle of the shadows are clearly off. Number 5. We have another goblin video coming from Argentina. The video is simply titled Duende, and we find the boys just chilling on the side of the road one night when suddenly a goblin like creature is spotted near the road, I guess dancing. Okay, fake, 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 fake as fuck. I mean, they're not even trying hard, it's a dwarf in a costume. There are over 200 forms of dwarfism. The most common is achondroplasia, and one of its key features is bowed legs. If this were really a goblin or duende, then why would it exhibit the telltale signs of dwarfism? And also, if you do a bit of research, you can track down the YouTube channel it is uploaded on, and lo and behold, guess what's there? Two versions of the video, titled Duende Take One and Duende Take Two. Number four. Okay, one last Duende video, but this time it's out of Mexico. We have some boys kicking around the soccer ball, talking about all the cool things kids talk about, like how they twittered all over their MySpace until she Googled all over his Facebook. And then, not so unexpectedly at this point, something comes running out from behind the door in a hoodie, squealing like it just got its nutsack caught in the zipper. This is both stupid and fake. First of all, notice the boy here how he telegraphs what is about to happen by looking at whatever it is behind the door but doesn't react. However, when the creature does start running and squealing, he never once again looks at it, trying to act his way to a Mexican Academy Award by not breaking eye contact with the scene partner. Then there's their reaction, which instead of real fear seems to be a bit of bad acting mixed with trying not to laugh. <laughs> Number 3. Bigfoot captured on GoPro by Dog. This video of a dog walking through the woods wearing a GoPro was uploaded in September of 2015. Seconds into the clip, you can see in the background what looks like a Bigfoot crossing the dog's path. The questions I have about this video is, why is the dog walking through the woods with a GoPro strapped to its back? Is it alone? And if not, why is there no sound coming from the owner when the Bigfoot presents itself? And more importantly, why doesn't the dog react? All of these questions just add up to one answer. A big steaming pile of bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. These last two videos I'm going to debunk together. And by the end, you'll understand why. But first, it's not necessary for you to click that button right there. This video titled Monster Attack Me was uploaded in June of 2015. A man is cycling near a town square when out of the corner, we see some kind of creature on all fours come crawling out. After him. The creature continues to chase him throughout the video, almost catching up to him and eventually spraying the man's GoPro with some kind of green goo. <laughs> and in number one, our last video took the internet by storm during the summer of 2015. A man looks out his window and films a creature crawling up the apartments across the street. While most believed it was fake, some thought it was real because of the creature's reflection showing in the windows. And now the reason I saved these two videos for last, it's because yes, they're both fake and created by the same man, Russian special FX artist Demon Kataev. Here in this video he explains exactly how he created the effects for his videos. A link is in the description below. Seen a mysterious creature? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey,